हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक अगेन टू टूडेज ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ श्री बसपा पब्लिक स्कूल इलकर चिल्ड्रन आई एम हियर विद न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम द यूनिट टू फ्लोरा एंड फोना एंड द चैप्टर फाइव चैप्टर नेम एनिमल सोसाइटीज सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द एनिमल्स दैट दे लीव इन अ ग्रुप एंड दे विल फॉर्म अ सोसाइटी सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट दिस चैप्टर आर यू रेडी चिल्ड्रन most animals like to spend much of their lives alone for example tiger don't like the company of any other animal or it doesn't like to be in a group it stays alone it survive alone but some animals live together forms groups or colonies some of the animals they like to be in a group and they will form groups or colonies as they live in a group each of them has their important role important jobs in the group they usually share their jobs such as finding food warning of danger protecting each other and helping each other so these are the work of the groups as they live in a group what they will do they will help to find the food and also warning of the danger as well as they will protect and they help each other when they are in the problem they will protect and help each other mostly insects birds and mammals form such society mostly who will be in a group insects birds and mammals herbivorous animals usually live in a large group mostly herbivorous animals will form a large group why they will be in a large group what is the reason so the logic is very simple as there is a strength and safety in numbers as they live in a group there is an safety for them and also strength for them so herbivorous animals also need to move from one place to another place they have to move from one place to another place why they will move in search of food and water they have to move from place to place when a large number of animals move from one place to another place there has to be a discipline there should be a discipline as they are moving in a large group from one place to another place so to see there is a discipline then there should be a leader there should be a leader who will guide them to move from one place to another place so according to you who will be the leader yes of course the stronger one the powerful one so he should be protect and guide those members in the group usually there is a just one leader although the animals can't talk can't speak so that they will follow the leader's body language and they will obey it these animals can't speak but they will follow the body language of their leader and they will move along with their leader elephants live in small groups called as clans what we call clans the group is made up of females and their young ones called calf calf is a singular and calves are plural but the bull elephant male elephant live by themselves they do not live in a groups the oldest and biggest female elephant called as mat rice what we call mat rice she is a leader of her group elephants group she leads her group to the traditional feeding places and water holes she knows where to get the food and where they will get the water so that she will lead their group members our closest animal cousins who are our closest animal cousin yes of course apes monkeys they mostly live in a group called as what troops what we call troops for the group of apes chimpanzees form a large troops they will form a large group of members how much 100 or more than 100 members in each group they spend time by grooming each other's fur what they will do they will spend time by cleaning each other fur then eating small plants animals and birds too and also sleeping in the trees at the night time so these are the activity that they will do in the groups sometimes the females gang up to attack the monkeys of a 
or a chimpanzee of another troop another group gorillas form a smaller groups called as a bands what we call bands for the group of the gorilla which include the members ranging from 5 to 15 in each band how many gorillas will be there 5 to 15 gorillas will be present a full grown male gorilla called as silver back so he is a leader of his group in gorillas group who will be the leader silver back so he is a male gorilla full grown male gorilla hence he will leads his group members also he protects his group members from predators such as leopards cheetah etc gorillas mostly spend their time as munching plants eating plants or grooming for then playing and sleeping so these are the activity which they will do in a group zebras live in family groups they will live in family group what they will have who will be present in their group like stelon one adult male zebra known as stelon then female zebras called as mare and their young ones babies are known as fowls so these are the members which are present in their groups zebras groups if there is an attack by the lion to the zebra group then the female the males will take their babies fowls to the safety place then the male zebras will fight with the lion by using his hind legs he will kick to the lion with the hind legs so that it will protect its members in the group in this way the zebra will protect its members most deer lives in group they to live in groups the group the herd usually consists of females hinds called as hinds then their babies called as fawns okay so female deer are known as hinds and babies are known as fawns but the male deer called as stags or bucks will not live along with their groups it will leave themselves the male deer called as stags or bucks do not leaves in the group it will leave by themselves and after meeting a male move to another group so that the male will changes its group but females and their young ones will form a big group they will live in a group but male do not lives in a group children what is the name of this animal so this is called as male cats what we call male cats these are the small meat eating mammals they too are mammals they live in the open grasslands of south africa we will get in the open grasslands of south africa they too always lives in group they do not live alone they too live in groups they take turn to watch for the danger while others feed while other members are feed are busy in feeding then some of the members will take turn to watch the danger when look out once by barking or growling if any dangers they notice then they will bark loudly then all the members they will race down into their burrows they will run towards their safety in their homes social insects like bees wasps termites and ants they will live together and form a large groups or colonies usually there is one queen and she is responsible for laying all the eggs who is responsible queen is responsible to lay all the eggs the workers who are all females do everything else including the building home what they will do building home then guarding it and keeping it clean even finding and stocking the food and also looking after the larvae etc this is the job of females some males also there whose job is to meet with the queen only they has to meet with the queen and this is called as division of labor 
that is the work is divided and each and every one carry out its own duties own jobs in relation to their size termites build a bigger structure than any other creatures they will build very bigger home bigger structures as compared to other creatures other insects they use grains of soil as a bricks and their own spit as a cement did you know children a termite queen lay eggs around 30000 each day how much 30000 eggs in a day and also there are lots of compartments compartments means different holes inside the ants nest carnivorous animals also moves in groups they to form group but their groups are much smaller as compared to herbivores and omnivorous animals they move in groups to attack other animals why they will move to attack other animals for example lion forms groups called as prides lion's group is called as prides a pride consists of up to 6 females with cubs cubs means baby of these lion and about 2 to 3 male lions so that how many females will be there six females along with their cubs and 2 to 3 males in the prides in the lions group the females job is to take care for their babies and also feed them even they too will take care for their babies from the any predators the male lion is kingly hunt he will kingly hunt the animal and also he is the first one to feed he is the first one to feed the hunted animal even he is defend his pride he defends the pride and also patrol he guards his members and also his region very consciously but tigers usually live alone they live alone among aquatic animals whales and dolphins live in groups they to live in groups killer whales travel in a groups called as schools what we call schools they gang up upon much bigger whale often a female and the calves who will be present in their group bigger whales females and their babies called calves dolphins also live in big family groups called as schools or puts schools or puts is a group name of dolphin they communicate each other by producing click sounds or squeal sound shouts most fish swim in groups called as shouts fish group is known as shouts sometimes small fish make a formation which looks like a big fish this helps them to escape and also attack from the big fish which will help them to escape and attack from the big fish thus they confuse their predator and making it hard for it to single out one fish okay children this is all about the animals that they form society that they live in a group now let's see the last topic from this chapter and that is animal human interaction so here we know about the animal and human interaction how they will interact each other most wild animals do not like human company as we know these wild animals do not like to stay with the human but domesticated animals like cows dogs cats and horses like to be with the human they enjoy the human company horses also enjoy human company they too like to be with the human a special bond is created between horses and its rider too even elephants also get attached to their mahouts mahout means the person who ride the elephant they too like to be along with the human and also dolphins like human company too dolphins also like to be with the human and children this complete your chapter animal societies i hope you understood this chapter if not watch this video again and again if you have any doubt you can ask to my whatsapp number okay take down the homework find out the similarities and differences between horses and zebras
next read the chapter 5 animal societies twice two times and note down the difficult words write it in your evs homework book